in this lesson we will learn about Haragdama growth model. The model suggests that the economy's rate of growth depends on the level of national saving and the productivity of capital investment. This is known as the capital output ratio. If the capital output ratio is low, an economy can produce a lot of output from a little capital. If the capital output ratio is high then it needs a lot of capital for production, and it will not get as much value of output for the same amount of capital. Haragdama model says, Rate of growth of GDP is the ratio of savings ratio to the capital output ratio. G is the economic growth rate. S equals S slash Y is the ratio of saving S to income, Y. C is marginal capital output ratio. It is argued that in developing countries saving rates are often low, if left to the free market. Therefore, there is a need for governments to increase the savings rate in an economy. Alternatively, Developed countries could step in and transfer capital stock to the developing countries, which would increase the productive capacity. Based on the model the rate of growth in an economy can be increased in one of two ways. Increased level of savings in the economy. Reducing the capital output ratio. Less developed countries often have an abundant supply of labor it is a lack of physical capital that holds back economic growth and development. Boosting investment generates economic growth which leads to a higher level of national income. Higher incomes allow more people to save.